Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris with Android. Um, we've already showed you, I guess, Jelly Bean and 4.1. We talked about all the features and cool stuff that it has on, I guess, like the Nexus 7 tablet and just in general, the new features it has. But um, I wanted to show you guys exactly how it performs on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, given that this is still running an old school TI OMAP processor where the Nexus 7 is using NVIDIA Tegra 3. Uh, I, I actually wasn't sure exactly how Jelly Bean would run on a Galaxy Nexus, but given that we just got the OTA last night, um, I wanted to show you guys all the new, I guess, improvements and stuff they've done under the hood, uh, mainly just in its fluid movement. You can see how quick this is this completely stock launcher. The It moves completely fast, smooth 60 frames per second. Uh, they did change a couple of things like, say, the animations. Everything's a lot more smoother now, but when you enter and exit apps, um, it has like a zoom, a new zoom effect. It's actually a lot different than what it was on Ice Cream Sandwich where they had this crazy little blink effect. I'd actually preferred more than this one. I'm not a real big fan of the zoom. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Sense and whatnot, but you can see here, this is the um, notification bar. And if you use the gestures, two finger gestures, you can open and close them accordingly. And um, everything, again, it's like the whole Project Butter thing is a, a hundred times more smooth. It doesn't matter that it's running on the TI OMAP processor it's still smooth as butter. So this was a little bit jerky before in the old school version, our ice cream sandwich. And now just the notifications, like even the swiping them is completely like revamped and new. Uh, one thing that's really cool, oh, you can see here, Steve just sent me a message. Um, there was a way to collapse that, but okay. Um, the multitasking button is a hundred times smoother and just quick. If you just tap it, it automatically opens. And I used to think that was something that was, uh, I guess, the Galaxy Nexus was limited by the processor and maybe it was just something that they couldn't really make speedy, but again, Jelly Bean completely overhauled that. And the, let's see, not the gallery, the camera has a new features as well. So if I snap a pic, it just moves them to the side over there. Um, it's kind of weird because it's almost not as instant because every time I take a picture, well, there it goes. Um, it was focusing and such, but you can see you can do a swipe and then you can get to the, the last pictures that you took. So, um, and it has that card effect that's on the, the app drawer too. So it just looks super nice. It's very, very reminiscent of Windows Phone and that's actually one of the things I loved about Windows Phone. Probably the only thing, but um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, one more thing. You can long press power off and it'll give you a reboot to safe mode. And this is, again, absent from the ice cream sandwich um, Android version. Do you want to reboot into safe mode? So if you boot, reboot into safe mode, it'll disable all applications, third-party applications, and it'll give you like a stock Android experience, I guess, without all the funny little apps for people to get in and mess with. So um, that's kind of cool if you just want to, I don't know, give it to your kids or do something, let them play around with it or just show, show it off. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for Jelly Bean on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, you guys should definitely look forward to it just simply because um, it's go going to make the phone feel like a whole new phone again. And it's uh, so awesome. So, yeah, that's it. I'm Chris Chavez, Android. Thanks for watching.